Hi, everybody. My name is Amanda Zylstra, and I'm here to talk about the introduction of concepts of physical education, the middle school assessment, and the work that we did to redevelop it, revise it, make it new. So thank you for being here today. Um, just very quick background. The co-chairs of this project were Tracy Krause and Terry Farrar, two amazing people who called me up and asked if I would be a part of the middle school team, which was Mary Tretevec and I. And the goal of this project was basically just to revise, revamp the concepts of physical education, um, the OSPI assessment that we've all known and loved over the years. Mm -hmm. And it began back in May of 2018. And the um, and we wanted to update the physical education classroom based assessments to align with the, uh, the new updated standards. Okay. Um, for middle school, why did we do this? One of the things is that we just wanted to make it more user friendly. We wanted it to be an assessment that we could put in teachers hands and it would be a guiding document for them, but also something that they could use in their classroom without it being this big assessment that felt overwhelming. So we made it smaller. It's now only 20 questions. You should be able to get it done in a class period. And it basically is covering standard three. So the topics that we covered were the benefit of physical activity, components of fitness, health related fitness, the fit principle, the phases of exercise, body systems, nutrition, and goal setting. So you all know the answer to these questions. Why do we need to assess physical education? One, it's the law but also we want to be a valid profession that demonstrates that our students are learning in our classrooms, right? So I don't think I need to talk about this much more than that. You and I are in the same boat that we want to show that our students are learning. So middle school concepts of physical education <clears throat> is 10 multiple choice questions, one fill in the blank and nine short answer or student response questions. And we, intentionally did not make it all multiple choice because we wanted to have students demonstrate higher level thinking and we just wanted to be able to assess more than just their guessing game. The standards, like I said, are right here below, mostly focusing on standard three. So talking about um, benefit of physical activity, components of fitness, health related fitness, fit principle, phases of exercise, body systems, nutrition, goal setting. Um, we wanted to focus on inclusivity with this project. So we have accommodations based on IEP or 504 plans. You can always have extra time. You can have students answer orally. You can have questions read aloud. And my favorite part is that this um, assessment could be online, which the day and age we live in now, one-to-one -one devices are very common, um, if not everybody has them. So the thing we want when we were building this test, not that teach to the test sounds like a really bad idea. Like, oh, we have this test and that's all we're going to focus on. But for us, it felt like if I know what my students need to know, that can help guide my planning. And so you can have things like word walls or examples throughout different lessons. Um, and it's just to help you know, this is what by the end of PE and middle school, students should be able to know and do. Um, it could be your formative assessment to see where students are at. You could use the um, elementary assessment for incoming sixth graders to see what do they already know. It could be used as a summative assessment, and you could use it to gather student data for TPEP if you are somebody who's doing that. All right, so this is just an example of a word wall that could be created um, as a way to promote, especially for our English language learners that, or multi-language learners that, um, the words matter, and there's a lot of intense vocab, such as party respiratory endurance. That's a long word, so breaking it down and helping students understand. So this is just an idea to always make sure that these are some key concepts or vocab that by the end of PE, students should have an, an understanding of. Okay. So this is just going to take a peek at um, some of the examples of questions, which could be um, multiple choice questions and other things. Okay. Um, before I end this, I just want to share my why. Um, I believe that students can and should learn lifelong fitness as a part of physical education. It's not just volleyball, basketball, et cetera, which research shows. And as we all know, most people don't grow up to be adults playing these um, intensive act sports. And we have a lot of students who don't love sports, but everybody should have a lifelong fitness. 
And so I signed up and said yes to this assessment because I believe that it is something that our students need. It's that baseline knowledge to build a foundation of health and wellness. Um, and for me, I do use this test as my guiding document as I'm looking at my semester and planning out what do my students need to know, and I'm trying to touch on all these things. So um, it is supposed to be simple, and we really built the test by put, thinking about putting the power back in the hands of the teachers. The previous assessment, the scoring document, I think was, what, 50 pages long or something, and it was very precise, and we are trusting your professional judgment when you're looking at your students' answers to say, yes, they get it, or no, they're missing the mark. Um, this test and this assessment um, is designed for you to be able to use it. So you could put it into an online format such as Schoology or WellNet or whatnot. Um, it could be a paper pencil format. You could break the test down and use some of the questions and not all of them. But OSPI and Shapewa really just want us as teachers to be teaching to the standards and this test measures standards. So I hope that you find it helpful and with that, if you do have questions or comments about it, especially the logistics of OSPI and testing and all that, you would speak to Ken Turner. If you want to talk more specifically about the concepts or with the test questions themselves, you can reach out to Terry Farrar or, of course, you can reach out to me. But thank you for your time. Um, we're all in this together. And I think especially after the pandemic, we want our students to get back to the level of fitness that they previously had, as many of us seen. And so this is one way to just be teaching them how to have that lifelong fitness and also have the knowledge of what to do and to take care of their bodies. Thank you.